Hi, my name is Tammy. I have a little shop in Uniontown, Ohio uh, called Restitch, and I do all kinds of things here. I do alterations, custom window treatments, dry clean, and uh, any kind of storm project that a customer needs, uh, I do my best to take care of them. First of all, I'm gonna show you around my little shop, and uh, today we're gonna be making uh, decorative pillows. Okay, so here's my little shop. I have commercial sewing machines, uh, sergers. I have embroidery machines, cover stitch machines, um, blind stitch machines. Um, I do quite a bit of um, different things here. So, but mostly on this machine, this singer back here, is the machine that I use most. And today we're gonna to start this 18 by 18 inch decorative pillow. And we're using um, this fabric, 54 inch fabric. And the first thing I normally do when I'm cutting fabric out is I cut all the salvage off because you don't wanna use that in your pillow. Okay, so I take a yardstick and measure 18 inches and 18 inches. The pillow is 18 by 18, but we're gonna cut it at 18 by 18. So we have a nice firm pillow and the pillow is not gonna be loose and looking like it needs more stuffing in it. So, just mark your pillow with chalk. And of course you need to cut out two pillows. And then usually I'll just pull the fabric over and then just use the one that I just cut out as my pattern to cut out the next one. It makes it a little bit easier. Just make sure you get it all lined up good. There you have two pieces. And then the next thing you're gonna do is put your right sides together. And you're gonna wanna make sure you leave an opening so you can put your, oops, I'm gonna do it this way. There we go. And then here's our pillow insert that we're going to use. This is a down pillow. And I make all my pillows on a commercial sewing machine always. So next step is to grab some pins. And I usually pin the corners first. And I always pin from the inside out um, so I can leave the pins in and uh, sew my uh, stitch right over the pins. And then, so we just continue pinning. And I'm going to leave an opening up here 
about 12 inches so that I can get that pillow insert in. And then I'm going to stitch it up. Uh, this is part one. And um, I hope you like my video. Like, share, and, dis and subscribe. And ring the bell to get my newest notifications on my new videos. And we'll see you in part two. Thank you.